uh, as an ordained pastor, I do still uh, some things within the Christian community, but I'm not. Most of what I do in the Christian community is trying to build the bridge between the Christian and the Jewish community. That's what I do. Is that bridge for the purpose of getting Jews to find Jesus? No. You know, there's a feeling within the Jewish community that people like me want to do one of two things. Either we want to make Jews Christians or we want to be Jews, you know, um, and, and, and I'm neither, you know. I just want to be accepted into the Jewish community as uh, a friend, as a member, you know what I mean? Uh, I think we all serve the same God. The fact that I believe that Yeshua was the Messiah, I don't think should separate me from my Jewish brothers. They have, my Jewish brothers expect the Messiah. I believe that he's already come. That's our only difference. I believe in the dietary laws. I, I believe in the feast days. I, 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 I sit down and rest on Shabbat. You know, I do all of the things that are that is required by Torah. You see, but only I believe that the, the Messiah is Yeshua. That's our only difference. I don't believe in replacement theology that the Jews have been replaced. You know, because Yeshua come. I don't believe any of that. You know. So there was a group who was here earlier, led by Pat, uh, Reverend uh, Reuben Israel. They come from the Inland Empire, and they're wearing shirts that say Yeshua is Mashiach. And uh, and, and they're talking about uh, about Jesus to to Jews and Israelis here. Do you think that that's appropriate? No. No. In fact, one of the venerated uh, uh, early church fathers, St. Francis of Assisi, he said this, we should all preach the gospel and when necessary, use words. So our lifestyle ought to be what's out front. You know, we ought to conduct ourselves. I don't think it's necessary to go beating people over the head. As a matter of fact, the Apostle Paul said that we should provoke the Jews to jealousy. I don't think you're going to provoke anybody to jealousy by telling them you need this or you need that or you know what I mean. I mean, it's our lifestyle. It's my lifestyle. Um, I'm, a, I, I'm a volunteer speaker for Stand With Us. You know, I volunteer my time to go out and talk about Israel. You see, and I talk to Christian groups, right? But my whole purpose is not to try to convince Jews that they need Jesus or to convince Christians, you know what I mean, that, that they should observe the dietary or, or observe Torah. I, I don't try to convince them of that. I, I believe that if we quit the confrontations, we can break down these walls of separation, you know? That's what I'm about, breaking down these walls of separation. We've been separated too long, and it doesn't make sense. The first so-called Christians were all Jews. The first, they were all Jews. So what's this deal about, you know, that they have to become something else? You know?